guys, I fixed a CRT monitor. This is a Dell E773S. I repaired it with this here. This here didn't work quite well. I had to keep holding it in. So I've actually managed to give that a bit of a repair by holding it in. And it works. Now I'll just put the back on and I'll show you now. Oh, and I was using this before to design my own thing. Which the name shall remain hidden until until I decide to give it away. But for the moment, keep it as a surprise. Oh yeah, and there the two screws are removed. Yes, no, uh, no external tools or components. In fact, everything that I actually worked on was already in here. On one thing, a note with this: people worry about the flyback. And I cut. Don't. It's only 10 milliamps maximum. That's enough to give you a, a pretty violent shock, but it's not that. It's not enough to be fatal, unless you've got some sort of heart condition. But people say there's high voltage. Yes, but it's low current, so it's kind of safe. Um, but all the stuff in here, like this sort of part here. Like here, the main sort of side, sort of in here, where the hundreds of volts. They are more capable than the flyback, so that's what you really need to worry about. Just with this, it's not that safe, but it's still... It's, you still shouldn't touch it, though, but it's not that bad if you do touch it. From experience from another YouTuber, who I don't know who it is. He got, he touched one of those. Why backs, he just says, yeah, yeah, it doesn't really hurt that much. They're fun to play around with, but still not a good idea to touch. Nothing's a good idea to touch. So I'll just put it back and, yeah, and I also call Dell Notorious for making unrepairable CRT monitors. I've had one of these before, I tried to put a new VGA cord on it, because they have stupid hot rubbish drawers where you've got to cut whatever's dangling off the end. That's now EOL. Well, it was in the bin a while ago. I've EOL'd the tube, I've necked it, I've let the air back in. And yeah. Oh yeah, and here's the date of where it was made, where and when it was made. Made 2004 in Malaysia. And yes, that is at E773S by Dell.com. Well, also, if you're wondering why sometimes the video quality becomes good, and sometimes it becomes bad. Sometimes if I don't have my camera around, I will film on my phone or if I can't be bothered grabbing my camera out. Which is a lot of times. But my phone does run out of space occasionally. So I'll just put these screws back on and put the line cord in and yeah. And let me say this again. I only just held in the power button. And then it started uh, clicking back in and out again. So some of that stuff you can fix by some of the simplest things and then there's some people who completely tear it down the bits replace a lot of the things and it really was just something someone like me could do with it without even taking off the case and the cover. And this did work fine, I actually got it for $20 or $18 local pickup and it wasn't actually that far away from me, it was only a 15 minute drive. He was like, he was some old guy, but you know, he had this. And I've looked at the flyback, and it doesn't seem like so much use. So the lights on. Oh, and I heard it clicking. I thought it was a relay because I saw relay one of these things before, but no, it's not a relay. camera will sync properly like that because that's just one thing if the majority of the lights coming from the camera it will properly lock on but this the will start flashing that's just something I want 
So I'll just go ahead and plug it back into the computer and done.